Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Yang Liu from Guoke, one of the most popular social networking sites for science and knowledge sharing in China. Today, I'm going to share with you some stories that happened in our online MOOCs community. Uh, first, I would like to know how many of you know what MOOC is? Raise your hand. Oh, so many. Wh who doesn't? MOOC stands for Massive Open Online Course. Uh, we're not MOOC providers so, uh, like Hong Academy and Coursera edX, but we are building up an online community for those people who learn through MOOCs. They can share their notes, put on re their reviews, and discuss about class materials. OK, I have another question. Who is this guy? Sorry, I put the answer on there. <laughs> well, I guess I bet if you show this photo to most of the Chinese students who learn through MOOC, they will give you the right answer because he is so popular. His name is Benson Ye from National Taiwan University. When he gave MOOCs on Coursera, at the same time, he's a very active user in our online MOOCs community. Actually, he has been watching our discussions and getting familiar with our culture for months before he even said anything. Throughout his whole course, he regularly shows up, answering questions, posting updated information, and inviting students to join his online game that will help with online learning. The students really appreciate his effort. At the end of his course, his course gained thousands of followers in our online MOOCs community. He thought our online community is very helpful, so he introduced our website uh, to two of his colleagues from National Taiwan University, who also gave MOOCs on Coursera. One of them taught Chinese ancient history, the other one taught machine learning. Now they are all very active users in our online MOOCs community. Their stories brought to uh, my first thought today. MOOC re may de uh, redefine teacher-student relationship. Imagine in the old days, when you are studying at school, you cannot choose your teacher. <laughs> Otherwise, well, but um, if you are learning through MOOCs, you can choose your teacher. I think Dr. Ye and his colleagues understand perfectly that once you decide to teach online, you have to find a way to get your student engaged online too. Guoke serves as a platform to make those uh, teachers interact with their students and get systematic feedback. Oh, by the way, I put a, a walnut here uh, because I, I guess you don't recognize Chinese character. Guoke literally means uh, nutshell. We want to open the nutshell of the knowledge so that people can enjoy. Uh, my second uh, message today is, uh, we think MOOC may redefine how education is delivered, and the online community can be part of it. Just imagine what MOOC is. MOOC is like a very good textbook. It is actually textbook 2.0, written by the best teacher in the field. In the future, maybe you can take li those lessons at home when you're alone, and then spend your more valuable time interacting with people, because teamwork will allow you to learn from each other. You have already seen it in flipped classes. And I think online community can, can do the same job, especially for those who are not registered students at school. We've done analysis to see who are learning through MOOCs in China. The data showed that about half of the people are registered students at school, uh, either in university or high school or middle school, but they don't have flipped classes available. The other smaller part are office workers. Without any company, it's very easy for them to give up learning in the middle. <laughs> this is why an online community is important because it allows the communication. We've seen a lot of examples. This girl up here and her learning partners on our online community, they made a lot of people jealous. Why is that? When she took irrational behavior from Coursera, she shared all her lecture notes on our online MOOCs community. Actually, she formed this online classroom and started some very interesting discussion topics related to the class material. Soon, more and more people were attracted. And uh, uh, we often hear Chinese students' complaints that they're not really used to the Western learning style. For example, before one of the quiz, 
uh, this teacher of irrational behavior, he left a, a hundred papers and asked the students to read all of them within days. It's almost unrealistic for those whose native language is not English. So our students, they split the assignment and every one of them read only six or seven papers. The next day, they came back together and talked to each other through those papers. Finally, they all passed the quiz. <laughs> well, it's not cheating, Will. Well, <laughs> uh, at the end of this course, among these 20 students who is in this online classroom, 11 got certificates. Well, I know it is a very small number, uh, I know that, but uh, if you consider the completion rate, it is really remarkable and uh, unusual for MOOC. We know one of the big challenges for MOOC right now is the low completion rate. Only about 10% of the registered students can persist through the end. In China, this number is even lower. Uh, the, the number is, uh, in average, about 5%. So now you can see how dif uh, what kind of difference an online community can make. So let's get back to this story. Um, the study of this online classroom goes on so well. They made a lot of people jealous. But one of them said, I really want to join you, but my English is very poor. I don't understand them. So the students who are in this room said, no problem. We'll translate all the subtitles for you. Well, it is an easy promise, but it's not an easy task. It involves so many people and so many work. So here comes or a translator's group. They call it Education Without Borders Translator Group. <laughs> they, give it, uh, they give this name by themselves. They actually made this figure in the shape of a heart. Well, mm, now this translator group have 150 translators. Last month, we formed official collaboration with Coursera. Uh, this collaboration in turn encouraged them a lot. I remember the uh, once they got all the videos of basic writing. They finished all the translation within only three days. Now they've finished translating 24 courses and the list is still growing. I read this comment online. He said, I'm a 50 year old guy who barely know how to use the internet. Now I can follow the course just as you young people. Well, uh, he also said, I'm so proud of you. Well, I'm proud of them too and uh, uh, I feel so jealous because in my generation, I didn't experience all that. <laughs> um, um, I regret that uh, I graduated so early. <laughs> well, um, Zheng Wang um, is a common office worker. He coordinates several online classrooms, and his own story is encouraging too. He earned 40 certificates from top-tier universities within two years. Now he's thinking of changing his job and changing his life. Comes the youngest students in our online MOOCs community. She's only 12. While all her classmates are trying hard for the entrance exam, uh, she's very different. She spends her weekend enjoying MOOCs and working as a freelance. I guess without the company from an online community, this isn't possible. This mom has a full-time job, plus a part-time NGO job. And her husband is not around. She's very lonely, and life shouldn't be hard for, uh, easy for her. But she is taking five courses at the same time and leading translation for two courses. She wrote down how she manages her time to encourage other people in this community. Chen Wei was once a nerd, spending all his time at school uh, at home, in front of the computer, having no friends around at all. But last year, he started the Education Without Borders translator group. Now he has 150 friends who are all waiting for his arrangement. <laughs> well, in the conventional view, I guess, those people are spoiled child, or struggling for life, or even loser. But online community gave them the opportunity to, to make friends based on the same purpose. Now they're living a new wonderful life. It has been one and a half years since Guo Ke launched our online MOOCs community. We made dramatic changes, and now we have more than 50,000 users, and we opened up online classrooms for more than 500 courses. Uh, we think a lot of change will happen next year. It's just the beginning. Um, thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm.